What's up guys, it's me LEGO Paradise here, and today I'm going to show you my LEGO Spy Submarine. I didn't base the design off any particular real life submarine, because this was just a quick fun little build, but I still wanted to include some of the most important features of any seaworthy spy submarine. And you can see that I've included a working sonar navigation system, and you can see the radar spins around sending out the sonar signal at the top of the submarine, as well as Probably another more important feature is a spinning propeller and you can see that rotates and can spin and propel the submarine forward through the sea. So if we take a look at some of the closer details on my LEGO Spy Submarine, you can see first of all I'm really happy with how the entire shape of the entire submarine turned out because I think this looks really realistic. And I think I've recreated the iconic shape of a traditional military or spy submarine using just a few simple roof tile bricks. Because you can see these are actually just some simple, mainly 2x4 roof sloped tile pieces. And I've attached them sideways to either side of the submarine to create this gradually thickening at the middle and then just thinning out at the ends of the submarine shape to the entire structure. So you can see it's almost identical on both sides, just at the front. I've included a more rounded and pointed area. And then towards the middle you can see this is the small tower that extends above the sea when the submarine is floating above the ocean, when it's usually parked or being boarded. And you can see I've just included a couple of small steering fins on either side of the tower. And of course you can see this is where the working sonar is. And you can just spin a knob underneath the submarine, just located there, to spin that around. And you might have noticed that you can spin both the propeller and the sonar dish. And they both spin at the same time. And I'll show you some of the gearing inside because I've also included a small but fairly detailed interior to the submarine. And then round the back you can see it's just a simple propeller. This is just one of the smallest LEGO propeller designs. And finally on the top of the submarine I've included some of these massive angled pieces. And I think they work perfectly to just finish off the shape and complete the overall look of the outside of the submarine. Now to take a look at the interior of the submarine, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just remove these side panels. And for now I'll just remove one of these side panels. And you can see a bit more of how this is built up, just using some simple plates and roof tiles. And you can sort of create a really cool house roof, or like a Japanese dojo style roof, out of the side piece alone. But anyway, taking a look at the interior of the submarine, you can see it's split into two main sections on either side of the tower. And first we'll take a look at where the driver of the submarine is. And here you can see this is just a spy dressed in some diving gear. And you can see it's fairly cramped. But then again, real life submarines do not have a lot of space in the interior. So I guess this kind of replicates that. And you can see he's just sitting there in a small space. And he's piloting some controls. And they're just barely visible because there's not that much light in the submarine if you only take off one side. And towards the middle of the interior, you can see this is mostly hidden because this is where the gear mechanism is housed. And you can actually see a small part of a grey bevel gear in that 1x2 plate gap in the centre. And this is basically what connects both the sonar and the radar and propeller at the back. And you can see the long axle shaft that goes all the way through the second half of the submarine. And you can see obviously this takes up most of the space on this side. But I've just included a small torpedo just as a sort of weaponry or defense system. And then just so you can see a bit more of the darker details and less visible control panels. You can remove the other side fairly simply. And you can see now there's really not that much left of the submarine, but you can see much better the control panels inside. 
and you can see the diver in a bit more detail. And then it's really simple to reattach those. They just clip on to these studs on either side. These are just some sideways studs, one by four bricks. And they just reattach nicely to reform the shape of the original spy submarine. So that was my Lego spy submarine. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the video a like, comment and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time with some more Lego creations. Thanks for watching.